As co-host of The Breakfast Club, Charlemagne's bread and butter has been serving up stimulating conversations before most people have had their coffee. I have a short stack of questions about your career, Charlemagne. Who have you yet to have on The Breakfast Club that you're dying to interview? Then I'm dying to interview Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom? Yeah, Judy Bloom, the author, who wrote, Re like, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. Really? Yeah, absolutely. And Blubber. Well, she 100%. needs to come on. And she was a big part of my childhood. Like, my mom was an English teacher, so my mom would always tell me to read things that don't pertain to me. So nothing, you know, pertained to me, you know, uh, less than right. stories about young white girls. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. getting their periods. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> has anyone ever been banned from your show? No, uh, I don't think so. Not by me, but right. yeah, I might have my co-host, Envy and Angela, might have told some people they can't come, but right. not by me. Is there an interview that you look back on as your most memorable? Uh, no, because I mean, we've had, we've had so some really major... good ones. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, point to one and be yeah. like, yo, that was the most memorable. What were you thinking when Hillary Clinton told you she carries hot sauce, hot sauce, hot sauce in her bag? Exactly what I told her. This is gonna be one of those times people say you're pandering to black people. Right. Yep. And did she pull out the hot sauce? No, but uh, there was an old interview. I think it was from 2020 or something, maybe 60 Minutes, where she did mention that she keeps Tabasco in her her oh, bag. Okay. And this was like in the 90s. And All she right. Said that, so she was consistent. Um, Biggest pet peeve when it comes to celebrities during interviews? Biggest pet peeve when it comes to celebrities during interviews? I don't know, it used to be when they wouldn't talk, but you know, now people are so transparent because we live in such an age of transparency, so people are, 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 are right. more open to talking nowadays. Well, speaking of which, you interviewed Kanye in 2018. The interview was two hours. It became kind of infamous. No, it was actually five. But five no, hours? <laughs> what was your biggest takeaway when you left that interview? I mean, your biggest takeaway with Kanye always is that he's uh, he's genius, but then your biggest takeaway is like, you know, anybody that you deal with that may have some trauma, you hope they get healing. You know? Right. Like, we all, we all deserve healing, you know? Yes. That's all. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.